PVC conduit is secured to bends, adapters and couplings by means of PVC weld glue. The conduit must not be threaded as this will weaken it. When gluing fittings onto the conduit, first spread some PVC weld glue on the outside diameter. Take care not to spread the glue near the end of the conduit, otherwise the excess glue could get into the conduit and cause an obstruction. Slip the coupling over the end of the conduit and push it on until it is seated firmly on the conduit. You must work quickly and carefully because this glue dries fairly rapidly. Next, apply some glue to the other piece of conduit and insert it into the opposite end of the coupling or joint. Allow the glue on the joints to dry for a few minutes before you attempt to install the conduit in place. Adapters are used to connect the conduit to switch boxes, socket boxes and distribution boards. The adapter is first glued onto the end of the conduit. Next, the threaded portion of the adapter is fitted through the hole in the switch box and it is pushed up until the shoulder is flush against the bottom edge of the box. The lock ring is then fitted onto the threads and secured firmly into place. Care must be taken not to over tighten the lock ring, otherwise you could strip the plastic threads. PVC saddle clamps are used to secure the conduit to wall surfaces. Saddle clamps are secured to the wall by means of wall plugs and screws. Spacer saddle clamps are used where the conduit needs to be kept away from the wall surface. When fitting spacer saddle clamps, the spacer is first mounted against the wall surface. The conduit is then placed onto the spacer and secured by means of the saddle clamp. In order to prevent sagging of long horizontal sections, saddle clamps should be spaced no more than one meter apart. Now let us recap what we have just covered in this section. First, we looked at the procedures for attaching fittings to PVC conduit by means of PVC weld glue. Then we looked at how to attach and secure adapters to switch and socket boxes. And finally, we looked at how to install saddle clamps and spacer saddle clamps. This concludes program number one in this series. In program number two, we will be discussing and demonstrating how to work with metal conduit. Join us in other Tech AV modules designed to help improve your technical knowledge and skills.